Hello, it's good to see you. Today we're going to be taking a look at some things from Aldi. Some of the things are for uh, my family and me, and some of them are for a food drive that is going on at my younger son's school. They're looking for non-perishable items of all types. They said they need everything, so anything you can contribute will be useful. So I have some, I have some things for that, and it's all kind of mixed in with some stuff for me. Um, the main thing I went there for was to get a turkey, <laughs> and um, I came out with lots of, <laughs> lots of stuff because I thought while I'm here, um, I'm going to be doing some volunteering at the school next week anyway. I thought while I'm here, I'll go ahead and pick everything up, and then um, when I go in to do my volunteer work, I can just drop everything off, and my son won't have to try to carry it all in. I can I can bring it in myself. So or maybe I can get him to help me or something. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'll let, him, I'll let him carry some and then I'll carry some. Anyway, mixed in with the food drive stuff is some stuff for us. But before I get into the Aldi stuff, I have to show you this stocking. I found this at Walmart today. I posted a picture of it in the community tab, but in case you didn't see it, look, look at this awesome stocking. It's a, it's a canvas stocking. How fitting is that? The back is felt. Actually, the back is green felt. It's Bob Ross. And it has the joy of painting up here. How cool is that? It has a green cord. It's like a, a, a twisted cord of green uh, stuff here, like you make a tassel out of or something. A little loop here. This is going to be my Christmas stocking this year. This, I just happened to be going by there um, and it caught my eye. Just I just happened to walk by and, and glance over at the stockings on one of the Christmas aisles. And this was right on the front of one of the rows of stockings. I said, oh my gosh, I have to have that stocking. <laughs> so I found this at Walmart. Um, it was actually made by the Bob Ross company. The tag is, there we go, the tag is small, but it's an actual Bob Ross item. I know they're very careful with their licensing. They don't allow other companies to do stuff with it, really. I think it was $7.98 or $7.88 or something like that. It was $8, $8 roughly $8. So this is going to be my Christmas stocking this year. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was awesome. I, I just I wanted to show you that before we got into this. Okay. They have a lot of new stuff out, I noticed this week. On the aisle that has all the... Um, seasonal stuff on it not the food but um, like housewares pillows blankets they have some really nice flannel sheet sets for $16.99 that's for queen or king size twin and full I think is $14.99 really nice sheet sets that's a great price for flannel sheets um, I already have some so I didn't get any so like normal let me get the crinkly things out of the way first Probably first, the first thing I'd probably do is get this big oversized thing out of the way. Now, this is a Christmas present for my older son, and it's going to be like a Rorschach test. You're going to either think I'm the greatest mom ever or the worst mom ever when you see this present. We're going to be wrapping this while we wrap presents. So you're either going to love me or hate me for buying this for him. <laughs> it is an entire yard of Twix bars. <laughs> they had um, Snickers like this and Twix and peanut M&Ms. He loves Twix bars. That is his favorite candy bar. So I got an entire yard of Twix bars in here. Um, you get 18 twin bar packs in here. <laughs> he is so hard to shop for. He's 14, and you ask him what he wants, and all I get is, I don't know. He, he's told me one thing he wants for Christmas. It's like a little $20 thing. Um, other than that, he has no idea. So when I, it's shifting. When I saw this, I had to get it because I don't, I have like one thing for him. I got the $20 thing. I haven't bought anything else. I don't know what else to get him. But look, look at the big Twix. So it's a whole yard of twi Twix bars. It's heavy. So yeah, they um, 
my younger son has given me, given me a thousand ideas of what he wants for Christmas. So it's no problem shopping for him. But So I got him a yard of Twix bars. I found that that was at Aldi. I think it was twelve ninety nine. It was either I think it was either twelve ninety nine or fourteen ninety nine. I'm pretty sure it was twelve ninety nine. And they had Twix, Snickers, and Peanut M and M's in the big pack like that. Um, if it's like last year, they sell out really fast. Um, I remember seeing them last year and thinking, oh, maybe you know, maybe I'll grab one of those for him. And I went back the next weekend and they were all gone. So. If you want to go check it out, now may be the time to go. Okay, so let's take a look at these things. We're going to start with the crinkly items first. I grabbed this here. Um, this is from Millville, which is one of the Aldi brands. They make all kinds of cereals and different items of that nature, uh, breakfast bars, things like that. This is Oats and Honey. Granola Crunch. This is like um, Nature Valley, the regular uh, Nature Valley granola bars. 21 bars in one bag, and it is resealable, which I really like, um, because chances are you're not going to use it all at once, so you don't have to find a way to keep it fresh. You just use the little zipper seal and seal it up, and it's going to be fine. This is for the uh, the food drive. I thought, you know, this is a nice snack or breakfast cereal. Um, you can take some with you for a snack while you're out and about. Um, it's very convenient. You, again, you can reseal it. And it's, you know, it has whole grains and protein. And so I thought this might be a, a nice choice. Um, I tried to get a decent variety of non-perishable items. Um, for example, I, I, um, I thought it might be good also to get some gluten-free items. I know I know these are, are more expensive and these can you know if you're if you have celiac and you need gluten-free items um, it, it's going to be more expensive it might be a little harder to get what you need. I found this gluten-free raisin almond honey granola and it looks really yummy. Live free, live G free. This is another Aldi brand I believe. It is non-GMO. Um, Yep, it's Aldi. And it also has the Good Housekeeping seal on it. This was marked as one of their most popular gluten-free items. It, there was a little tag on it that said it was a best seller in the store. So this is a 12-ounce bag of gluten-free granola. And just like the other one I showed you a minute ago, it has the uh, zipper seal on it. So you take out what you want and then seal it up and you'll have some more for later. So there's another um, little item. I also found from Live G Free this item. This is a, a GFA winner, the Gluten Free Buyer's Guide. Looks like they won an award from them. And it also has the Good Housekeeping Seal. You can see in this section right here, Good Housekeeping uh, Seal. Gluten Free. These are snack crackers, multi seed snack crackers seasoned with sea salt. So these are going to be nice and plain. They don't have any added um, flavors or anything if you just want a nice plain snack. This could be a good option. It's 4.25 ounces of snack crackers seasoned with sea salt. And this bag also has the reusable, the little zipper seal. Very, very handy there. Made with ancient grains. And they look like this. And this nice little shape, this little hexagonal shape to it. You can see the little seeds in there, the dark spots. Those are the seeds in the crackers. So that was another um, gluten-free item. If you've never been to Aldi and you buy gluten-free items for any reason, um, they actually have a pretty uh, impressive gluten-free section. Um, and I hear people speak very highly of their products. Um, I've never eaten any of it. Um, I don't need it, but... Um, I've heard a lot of people say good things about their gluten-free products. I also got, I grabbed this while I was over there. This is also gluten-free from Live G Free, non-GMO. These are little baked chewy bars uh, made with ancient grains, and it is Coco Loco flavor. <laughs> nice chocolate uh, gluten-free bars. And in this box, you're going to get five individually wrapped 
one ounce bars. Totally gluten free. Five ounce box. So again, this is going to be a nice convenient thing if you just need something to take with you for a little snack or something if you just want a light breakfast, you could just eat one of these maybe. Just something to, to tide you over maybe until an, another meal. You could just have one of these bars. So yeah, they had they had a lot of different items. They also have gluten-free bread. Um, they, they have a wide variety of uh, things that you can choose from. What's another crinkly thing? I have a lot here. This is crinkly. I grabbed this Simply Nature non-GMO quick cook brown rice. This is a 28 ounce bag. That is one pound, 12 ounces. And it is a quick cook rice, so you can make this very quickly. You got quite a lot of servings in here and a resealable top. I love these resealable bags. That way you don't have to worry about finding another container to put it in. You can leave it right in this bag. So maybe if you don't have access to another container, you don't have one to spare to put it in. You don't need to, you can just leave it in this bag. This cooks in 15 minutes, it's gluten free, and it is also microwavable. So you can make this in the microwave if you want to. It is organic. And it won the gold seal from the American Masters of Taste for having superior taste. That's pretty cool. So we have some quick brown rice right there. And let's see, one more crinkly. No, no, we have more crinkly stuff, but it's over the hill. Like I have a bunch of stuff here. I can't, I think I can get it. I also grabbed this. Here we have a bag of Great Northern Beans. Now these are dried beans. You're going to have to soak these before you cook them. But um, a lot of people do like to use beans in different recipes. Sometimes they eat them just by themselves. Um, this is a 32 ounce bag. A 2 ounce bag of Great Northern Beans. It says that they are an excellent source of fiber. This is a really good way to create a more filling meal. You can add this, you know, if you have maybe a meat and a fruit, you can add this to it for a little bit of fiber. Um, it'd be a little more filling. You can use this in place of bread if you don't have any, or if you don't want to eat bread, you could just have some of these. There are a lot of servings in this 32 ounce bag. It's a good source of protein and a very efficient, healthy food for your body. So I thought a bag of dried beans might be good for someone. Okay, let me get this crinkly thing. Now, I know I love a hearty bowl of soup, and I have had this before. This is actually really good soup. This is a chicken-flavored soup mix. It's really easy to make. You don't have to add anything to it, I think. No, you don't. You don't add anything to it. All you do is you take eight cups of boiling water and you mix in this with it. So it's dried. You don't have to store it anywhere. This is from Chef's Cupboard, which is um, another Aldi brand. And I have eaten this uh, chicken flavored soup mix. It is delicious. It's actually really, really yummy hearty and satisfying. This makes eight servings, so it's a little bag, but this will make servings for eight people. Um, it is a home style blend of noodles and vegetables. You get carrots and peas in there and noodles, and it, it's actually really good. Um, Chef's Cupboard has several different types of dried soup mixes like this. Now I have not tried the other ones, but this one is surprisingly good. It is really yummy and it's not going to take up a lot of room in your cabinet. Um, it's very compact and everything is right here in this bag. All you need is eight cups of boiling water and then you whisk in the soup to it um, and it, you reduce the heat to medium and you simmer it for 15 minutes. Stir it occasionally. And um, you can add additional salt to it if you want to. Um, I think it's already salty enough. I don't think it's really necessary. 
that's just my taste. Um, but you know, you could add salt or pepper. Or if you had some chicken left over from something, you could throw the chicken in there or other vegetables if you wanted to add. I mean, you could add anything to this you want to. It automatically comes with the noodles and these vegetables here, but you could always add other things if you had other things and wanted to add them, of course. But it's a very nice, a very nice soup mix. If you like chicken noodle soup and you ever go to Aldi, I would recommend this. It's on the soup aisle, just with all the cans of soup. So you could actually grab it right there. It's it's not much either. I think it's I think it's about two dollars, and you can get eight you can get eight bowls of soup out of that. And it's really great. Um, I don't know why I keep doing this. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just having a really good day. I've had a good day. Oh, I found these while I was there. These weren't there the last time I went in there. I found these little mini tongs. I don't have any tongs like this. I wanted to get some. Now these are made by Crofton. They are mini tongs and they are coated with silicone, silicone here. And I got two matching little spatulas. I got this mini spatula here. It's heavy. It's nice and heavy. A nice silicone coated spatula. And I got this mini spatula spoon as well. So you can use it as a spatula, but you can also use it as a little spoon if you want to. These were $1.49 each, and they had them in different colors. Um, I just decided to get three that were the same color, so yeah. If um, I'm a little nervous about continuing to do cooking videos because of the whole kappa thing. Um, I'm hoping I can continue to do that. It won't be a problem. I honestly don't know yet. I don't think anybody knows for sure, but um, I love doing the cooking videos, and I'm hoping I can continue to do them. And if, if I can continue to do them, then things like this will come in handy. But we'll see. We'll see how that goes. I may need, I may need to change the way I do my titles and thumbnails for certain videos so I don't trigger the FTC's bots to flag me or anything. I don't know yet. Also, these are this is another item that they just got in. Um, they had these ladies' tights. These are really nice. They're nice and thick and stretchy. Ladies tights. I do find though with these, it's a good idea to get them a size larger than you normally get. Normally I would get a medium, but the medium ones are really short. Like if you're, I mean, I'm not super tall, but like they weren't long enough for me. If you get the large, they fit a lot better. They're, they're longer. It's like, and it's weird, but they're longer and they work better. So I got these in a large. Now these are a really nice heather gray, and they have this soft interior, and they're going to be so incredibly warm. I love to wear these with hoodies or long sweaters. They're really comfortable and really super warm, and they're only $4.99 a pair. I mean, I think that's a great deal. I got that pair, and also, I also got this pair. They just put these out, and a lot of them were already gone. These are the same. They're just, these are in black um, and they are footed. Some of them, you know, don't have the feet in them. These do. These are nice, thick tights and they're, they're opaque. I mean, they're pretty opaque. They had some that were not. They had some that were semi-opaque, you know, like, not like pantyhose, but you know, a little thicker, like regular tights. These are the nice, thick, soft and warm tights. And they're only $4.99 a pair. Now this is another item. Um, if you're interested, it might be a good time to go since they just put them out um, probably Wednesday. These get gone really fast or you might go in and you can't find them in, in the size that you want. Certain sizes seem to sell out really fast. So yeah, I think $4.99 for this is a good deal. And I wear them a lot in the winter time because they're super comfortable. They're super cute. They go with everything. They had them in black, heather gray, and uh, navy blue. So I just I just got those two pairs. Another item that they have that I really like, and they had these last year, and I'm really glad I'm really glad they brought them back. These uh, merino wool socks are fantastic. They're four ninety nine a pair. These are wonderful socks. They are thick and soft and so warm on your feet. 
These are great. I have some Columbia Merino wool socks that I paid a lot more for. They're not as good as these that are only $4.99. I, I can't say enough good things about these socks. They're from Adventure Ridge. They only had a few different color options. Um, these are primarily gray. You can see that the ankle, the heel is white and there's a little like a maroon stripe up at the top. Um, these are just like, see they don't go way up super far. I wish they did come up a little bit higher, but um, these socks are awesome. They are so awesome. I only bought this one pair because I already have several pairs that I bought last year. Um, they have the reinforced heel and toe, cushioned sole and ankle, arch compression, and merino wool for softness. And they are so soft. And you can wash them like regular socks. You don't have to do anything special. So I got this pair for myself. And um, my older son, I bought him a pair um, previously. I think I bought him a pair last year and he really liked them. So I got him two more pairs. These are, they have the men's merino wool socks also. They had them all together, the women's and the men's. Now this is another item that's going to get gone really fast. So whether you're looking for men's socks or women's, you know, you might want to go pretty soon because they, they really get gone fast. I got this pair. Um, I think they're black and gray. And then I also found a pair that was green, like a nice olive green color with a darker green band up there. So these are men's sizes 10 to 13, uh, sock size 10 to 13, shoe size 6 to 12. My son wears a 12, so I'm hoping these are going to be big enough. I, they usually are. I mean, they're usually fine, but he's, he wears a 12 right now. So he's pushing it, but I'm hoping these will work. The men's socks were also $4.99, so it doesn't matter whether you get women's or men's. It's the same price. And the men's socks are not any thicker. Um, it's the same thickness. Everything is the same. Um, they're just bigger, basically. Um, that was the only difference I saw. Okay, now let's see what we have here. Those are for us. I found these. Um, I've never tried these, but I've heard they're really good. These are from Earthly Grains. Now this is ready to serve rice, so you don't have to cook this. Um, all you do is um, take it out of the package, heat it for 90 seconds in the microwave. You can also do it on the stovetop. You put it into a skillet, stir it, add two tablespoons of water, and heat it over medium heat, and that's all you do. You have to add the water whether you're doing it in the microwave. What do you see? No, actually, when you put it in the microwave, you don't even need to add water. So it's. I thought this would be a really nice thing, um, you know, if you don't, if you aren't able to cook anything, if you don't have access to. Um, if, if you all you have is a microwave, you could use this. You don't have to actually cook it. You're just basically heating it up. So this one is roasted chicken flavor, and it has herbs and carrots in it. Ready to serve rice. So there's this one from Earthly Grains. And I also got this one. And this one is just plain whole grain uh, brown rice. There, You don't have any vegetables or seasoning in here. So I thought something like this would be really good. You could season it however you want to or not season it at all. You know, whatever works for you. So this one is just plain brown rice with nothing else. But it's already cooked, so you don't have to uh, worry about cooking it. And then the third one I got was this one. This one is also already cooked and ready to go. Um, you just have to heat it. This is long grain and wild rice. So this is a little bit of a different type of rice. Um, it also has herbs and seasoning in it. I don't know what they are, but it has herbs and seasoning in it. So it's not going to have this the bland flavor. If you don't want to season it with anything else, you don't have to. It already comes with herbs and seasonings inside. So it's all going to be there. All you have to do is just heat it up and eat it. Eat it, and that's it very convenient. Let's see. Oh, I also grabbed a container of quinoa. This is, um, again, this is from Simply Nature. This is organic, non-GMO quinoa, the super grain of the Andes. 
It's a low sodium food, naturally gluten free, and a good source of fiber. And the great thing about it is you can use this in all different kinds of recipes. It's a very versatile item. You can eat it just by itself. You can add it to other things. Um, they have a recipe on the back for quinoa tabula salad. Hmm. You can do a lot of stuff. You can look up it recipes on the internet. You can do all kinds of things with it. This package also is resealable. It has the little zipper seal at the top up here. So once you get out what you need, and you're going to make a lot of servings with this. This is a whole pound of it. Um, you can seal it. You don't need to find another container. You just keep it right in the bag. You just reseal the top. So I thought that would be useful. And back here, I grabbed some stuffing mix. This is also from Chef's Cupboard, just like the dried soup the dried soup mix. This cooks in only five minutes and I find I think stuffing is a really useful thing. I mean you can you can use stuffing in all different kinds of recipes or you can just use it as a side dish for uh, dinner. You can eat it by itself. I have done that. I have totally just eaten stuffing for lunch before. <laughs> Not recently but I have. Um, yeah so this is the chicken flavor. And it has recipe, uh, instructions on the back for stovetop preparation or microwave cooking. So you can do it either way. You just add some water and butter to it. You need a quarter cup of butter and water, although I have made it without the butter um, and it's fine. It, it adds flavor to it, but if you don't have any butter, you, you don't need it. Um, you can use regular vegetable oil or nothing at all. I mean, I've made it with just water, honestly. and. It's still fine. It's not going to hold together as well, but yeah, it's it's good just like it is. So there's that. And I picked up a container of original applesauce. Now these are individually packaged. You have six in here. These are from Lunch Buddies, which is another Aldi brand. Each one of these cups is four ounces. Of apple juice these would be great for lunches or just a snack at home um, anything anything or if you need a little bit of applesauce for a recipe you could just grab one of these or two of these and you have enough applesauce for that so it's it's really great um, I thought this would be a nice convenience item here again it doesn't require refrigeration you don't have to cook anything it's very portable very easy to take with you anywhere. So there we have Lunch Buddy's original applesauce. Um, it has no high fructose corn syrup and it is made with American grown apples and each one of these cups is a full serving of fruit as well. So there we have original applesauce. Next for the food drive most of this stuff, um, pretty much everything else I'm going to show you is for the food drive. I went I, I went there to get my turkey, um, and I did. I, it's in the freezer right now. They have a really good deal on frozen turkeys. Um, and it's, yeah, so that was that was the main thing I went to get for, for me. There's the, this is food drive. I'm going to need like a wheelbarrow to carry all this in. <laughs> I got this can of salmon. Now this is Northern Catch wild Alaska pink salmon and it's it's really good um, we use it sometimes here to make salmon patties with or you can you can eat it just as it is um, this is a 14.75 ounce can of wild caught Alaskan salmon it is a good source of protein omega-3 fatty acids and it tastes good this is the only way you will ever see me eat fish is when I make salmon patties my way and all I add is breadcrumbs and an egg and nothing else. And you just mix it all together until you get like this, almost like a like a dough almost. And then you fry it, but fry it in olive oil because that makes it taste better. Even though people say don't fry stuff in it, it tastes better. But anyway, we have a can of salmon to go in the, uh, in the food trial. And then we also have from Dakota's, Pro Dakota's Prod, a can of um, these are pork and beans in tomato sauce this is a 16 ounce can 
Now these are already cooked. You don't have to do anything other than heat them up. So you just open this can here and you have, they're ready to go. You just heat them and eat. Dakota's Pride pork and beans in here. So they just have pork flavoring. Probably you might find a little piece of pork fat in there. That's for flavoring. Just a little can of those. And I also grabbed this. My mom used to love to keep cans of diced tomatoes around. She used them in all kinds of recipes. I mean, she would use them in everything when I was growing up. Um, usually we would, we grew our own tomatoes and we would can them in the summer. Um, so that's where ours came from. They came from mason jars, you know, but um, yeah, she found them very useful. Now these are organic diced tomatoes from Simply Nature. This is a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. They have vine ripened freshness and are made with sea salt. They were grown in California and packaged. You don't really have to do anything to them. You can actually just eat them as they are if you want to. Or it might be great in a recipe. Maybe uh, some spaghetti sauce or a meatloaf or soup. Anything really. So I tried to find things that um, Things that were convenient, but also things that were versatile that you could use for different things like the dried beans, the quinoa, the stuffing mix, things that you could use for a variety of things. And I also have quinoa. Uh, this is a quinoa blend from Earthly Grains. This is a blend. Here you can see it. It's a blend of quinoa and brown rice. And this is rosemary and olive oil flavor. It has the flavoring already added to it. You can make this on the stove top and you don't even have to add anything to it. What well, says you can add uh, olive oil to it? But this is a very quick, healthy uh, meal here or an addition to a meal. This is a 4.9 ounce box and it also has the gold seal for superior taste. So that's pretty cool. Now that was rosemary and olive oil and I also got this one, which is garlic and basil. So instead of rosemary and olive oil, this one has garlic and basil added to it. Same thing. It's a blend of quinoa and brown rice. 4.9 ounce box. And a third one. This one looks really yummy. This is roasted red pepper and basil. Quinoa blend from Earthly Grains. Also 4.9 ounce box here. Another simple, easy thing to make that is also going to be very filling and good for you. It's going to have a good source of fiber. Um, it's got some protein in there. It's a, it would be a great addition to any meal, really, except maybe breakfast. I don't know that I want it then, but when I was pregnant, I might have eaten it at breakfast. I, ate some, I had some crazy cravings, especially with my second pregnancy. The first one wasn't too bad. The second one was <laughs> ridiculous. I crave the weirdest stuff. Okay, now here, my can of beans is in my way. Here we have from Millville some protein chewy bars. And this is another wonderful idea, especially if you're headed out for the day and you're going to get hungry later. You don't want to stop anywhere or, you know, you just want something to snack on. These are wonderful for that. Millville again is another Aldi brand. Now these bars are peanut, dark chocolate, and almond flavor. Um, now you're gonna get five bars in this box. They, are, they have essential goodness as stated in this section here. They have no artificial flavors or high fructose corn syrup. They also have no certified synthetic colors or synthetic preservatives. They are individually wrapped, so you don't have to find a way to store them or wrap them. You just open the box and grab one and go. Now the box on top, it's kind of hard to see this section, is perforated across the top and then down here. So once you punch this part out, you're just going to take this part out. You're going to have a little dispenser. It's like the box becomes its own dispenser. So you can just take this whole top off and then you just easily lift in and take out what you need. Millville Protein Chewy Bars. They have 10 grams of protein per serving, which is really good. 
And for a little sweet treat, I grabbed these Millville Chocolatey Bliss Pastry Crisps. Because sometimes everybody deserves a little snack, you know. It's probably, it's not going to be as good for you as this, obviously. But, you know, everybody wants a little treat every now and then. There's nothing wrong with that. These are chocolatey flavored. Chocolatey Bliss Naturally Flavored. They have no artificial colors or flavors. These are also made by Millville. They make a lot of stuff at, at Aldi. And here you're also going to get five of these packages. Each package contains two crisps. So you're going to have individual packages with two of these little crisps in here. And these are good. I haven't had one in a long time, but I have had these. They are actually really good. They're not like Pop-Tarts. You don't put them in the toaster or anything. You just eat them like they are. This is a 4.4 ounce box here. You're going to get two, I mean, 5.88 ounce pouches in here. So yeah, these are from Millville. And they are actually really good. Um, nice little snack there. If you're looking for something ch uh, crunchy and chocolatey, it's really good. Now also from Millville, we have this right here. This is, um, these are trail mix chewy granola bars. Now these are the fruit and nut flavor. They have raisins, almonds, peanuts, and cranberries. All mixed in there with oats. You can see the oats in there. These are like the Nature Valley Chewy Granola Bars. You're going to get six bars in here, and each one is 1.2 ounces. Um, they also have no artificial flavors or high fructose corn syrup, and no certified synthetic colors or synthetic preservatives. They are made with 100% whole grain oats, which is also really awesome. So this is a package of six bars. And just like the uh, protein bars, it's perforated. And you can just punch this out here, and it's going to take the whole top. And you can just reach in and take one out. The box becomes its own dispenser. It's really cool. That's from Millville. Also, from Millville, we have these. I went crazy with the bars, I know. We have protein chewy bars here. Now these are dark chocolate peanut butter flavor. Um, they have 10 grams of protein per bar. No artificial flavors or high fructose corn syrup. And no certified synthetic colors or synthetic preservatives in these lovely protein chewy bars. Um, you get five in here. And it got pushed a little bit right here, but you can actually kind of see the perforation. That's where you just push it in, and you can just easily pull it back. Makes a nice dispenser for the uh, for the protein chewy bars. So there's that. Um, I have some more canned items here, also. Now this is chunky soup, but it's not the Campbell's chunky soup. This is from Chef's Cupboard, just like the other, uh, the dried soup mix I showed you. This is a an 18.8 ounce can of um, New England style cl uh, clam chowder. I have not tried this. I don't like stuff like that, so um, I don't know. I'm hoping it's good. I've tried, actually I've had some of the uh, Chef's Cupboard chunky soups and I've had the chicken noodle chunky soup and the vegetable beef and they were really good. I mean they were they were actually I thought the chicken noodle was a little bit better than Campbell's and it's definitely less expensive. Um, now this one thing I do like about this soup is that it comes with a pop top so if you don't have a can opener that's not a problem that makes it more convenient um, if you find yourself at somewhere where you don't have access to a can opener it's okay doesn't matter. You just pop, you could just pop it right open. So I did get this one. This sweater puts off fibers and sometimes they make my nose itch. This, this is the one, I think this is the one I tried. Beef with country vegetables. I'm pretty sure this is the one I tried. Um, and it was, it was really good. I was really impressed by how good it was. This is also Chef's Cupboard Chunky Soup. This is an 18.8 18.8 ounce can also and it also has the pop top now this can has two and a half servings in it 
Um, although, you know, if you're like my 14 year old, this is, this is a serving. <laughs> like he would eat this whole can and be back in the kitchen 20 minutes later looking for something else to eat. So I know how it is when you have growing boys there. They're always hungry. <laughs> and girls too. You know, you go through that age where you're growing so fast and you, you get hungry, I know. I don't like the thought of anybody being hungry. Um, yeah, so here we have Dakota's Pride. These are black beans. Now these are already cooked. Now this is another item that is great um, to add to soups or any a number of different dishes you can use these in. And they're already cooked, so you don't have to cook them. Um, these do not have a pop top, unfortunately. But this is a 15 ounce can of Dakota's Pride black beans. And it says here that it's an excellent source of fiber. It's also an excellent source of protein, which is very important to your diet. So there's that. Let's see. Sorry, I had to go let Evie in. She was yelling at me. <laughs> her little face was pressed in the window. Just, I could see her mouth moving. <laughs> so I had to let her in. Okay, I have another can of soup here. Um, this one I have not tried. I tried the chicken, uh, the chicken noodle soup. This is chicken and dumplings, which I didn't even know they made. Um, now this is going to be, it looks like a really creamy soup. It has little dumplings in it and vegetables and chicken. This is also 18.8 .8 ounces um, from Chef's Cupboard. And again, it has the pop top to it. It's really awesome. So I thought it would be nice, I thought it'd be nice to have a variety of some different types of soup. Um, and these are nice big cans, so it would be a good, uh, large, good size meal for someone, or maybe two people could uh, share this. So, um, yeah, got the pop top on there. So I thought that might be uh, useful for someone. Another thing that I know a lot of people love is peanut butter. You know, and this is another thing that you can make sandwiches with it. You can you just eat it like it is. It's a wonderful source of protein, a very healthy protein. This is from Peanut Delight. This is a, a plastic container, 18 ounces of peanut butter in here. This is creamy peanut butter. I don't know that they even have crunchy peanut butter at Aldi. I don't think I've ever seen it. I think they only have creamy, but I could be wrong about that. So I just grabbed a container of peanut butter and to go along with it, I got some jelly too. This is Con um, Concord Grape Jelly from Berry Hill, which is another Aldi brand. It is made with real Concord grapes. Comes in this nice container here. This is 30 ounces of jelly and it has the nice seal here. You know it's sealed because the little top hasn't popped yet. Um, so I wanted to make sure if I got jelly that I also got peanut butter in case um, someone wants to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> they would have both if they get both. Also thought it would be a good idea to grab some things like tuna, some little cans of tuna. This is solid white uh, albacore tuna in water. This is also from Northern Catch, just like the salmon. This is a little five ounce can. Unfortunately, it does not have the pop top. Um, Tuna is another one of those things that's wonderful. You can eat it by itself. You could add it to a recipe. You could make some tuna salad and put it in a sandwich. You know, it's a number of things you could do with this. It has very healthy oils in it. So, yeah. So that's solid white albacore tuna in water. And I also got um, chunk light tuna in water. This is also from Northern Catch. And it's also a five ounce can. So it's just a very healthy, versatile food item that could be useful. And I also got some mixed vegetables from Happy Harvest. Don't tell her they used her name. Now this has corn, uh, peas, carrots, and green beans and potatoes in it. Um, I love these cans myself when I'm making a stew, uh, like beef stew or a vegetable beef soup. Uh, these are wonderful. If you have a crock pot, just put these in there. You don't have to cut them up or anything. You don't have to go out and get all these different things. It's all in here for you. Now this is a 15 ounce can of mixed vegetables. 
but uh, it would be you could use this as a side dish for dinner. You know, have this with whatever you're having. Just to get a little bit of um, eat some vegetables. It's an excellent source of vitamin A. It has no artificial flavors or preservatives. And now I personally do not like this stuff, but I know a lot of people do. This is sauerkraut. It's German style sauerkraut, and I'm going to butcher the name Deutsch Kuch? 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 I don't know. Deutsch Kuch? I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, this is authentic German food. It was made in Germany. Or, I'm sorry, inspired by Germany. The flag threw me off there. It says inspired by Germany. And you see the little German flag there. Um, so this is an Aldi brand. And this is a 24-ounce jar of um, sauerkraut. Um, this is another nice food here. Um, you know, you're not going to get a lot of junk food in here. Certainly better for you than a bag of Doritos. Now, I personally don't like sauerkraut at all. This is one of the few things on the list that I have that I will not eat, even to be polite. There are a lot of foods I don't like, but I will eat them to be nice, you know. I will not eat this under any circumstances. <laughs> I, I, I've tried it. I don't like it at all. Um, mushrooms are also on that list. Mushrooms, sauerkraut, seafood, or fish, unless it's my salmon patties. I'm not eating that. <laughs> I'd have to be really hungry to eat that. Now here we have a gigantic can of soup. This is also from the same company, Deutsch, or the, yeah, Deutsch Kuch, Kuch, I'm sorry. It's imported from Germany. This just says inspired by Germany. Um, so I guess it wasn't made there. This was actually made in Germany, I guess. Um, so this is a fall harvest vegetable soup. It is a zesty blend of spaghetti and garden vegetables, which looks really interesting. I, I've never had spaghetti in a soup like that. That's, I actually want to go back and get some more and try this. Um, yeah, it looks like it has all different kinds of vegetables and spaghetti. It doesn't have any meat in it or anything. Um, yeah, so let's see. This has about three servings in the container. I mean, it's really big. This is a 28-ounce can of uh, vegetable soup, fall harvest vegetable soup. Um, you could easily feed, you know, you could get a bowl of soup for two adults out of here with no problem. It looks like that scene from The Man in the High Castle. If you've seen that show on Amazon Prime, awesome show. Um, I just finished up season four last weekend. It was really good. Okay, um, and then I have a few more things. Now, I know a lot of people don't like this stuff right here, um, but a lot of kids do. And I can think of worse things you can eat. My, my kids eat this frequently, and before I was low carb, I also ate this frequently. This is These are just shells and cheese. It's just a shell-shaped pasta with the uh, um, semi... It's not the powder cheese, it's the cheese in the pouch, you know, the it's like a gel almost. Um, all you have to do is boil the pasta, add the cheese, stir it up, and you're done. You're going to get a lot of servings out of this as well. This is the original flavor. It's made with real cheese, and it's ready in minutes. Um, and it's, it's really yummy. It really is. Um, yeah, so you can use this um, to go with a meal... Or you could add this to a recipe. You could do a lot of things with this. And it doesn't have to be refrigerated. Stick it away in your cabinet. And if you need it, it's going to be there for you. And I got this from Millville also. It's Evie sharpening her claws. Establishing dominance. I say that because she's sharpening her claws on my Christmas welcome mat. She's showing me who's boss. <laughs> it's like, I own this mat now. So this is Millville uh, Instant Oatmeal. Now these are individual packs that all you have to do is add boiling water to it. You don't have to do anything else. So you don't have to cook it on the stove or anything. We have two pouches of cinnamon and spice, two of maple and brown sugar, two of apples and cinnamon, two of peaches and cream, and two of strawberries and cream. 
It is heart healthy. This is good stuff. So you're going to have two, four, six, eight, ten pouches of oatmeal in here. And it's very quick and easy to make this. It has 18 grams of whole grain per serving, which is awesome. And you have all these different varieties. So you can take your pick of what flavor you would like to have. So that is from Millville. I also got this. Now these are just regular steel cut oats, the traditional type. I think Evie wants some. Now these are also from Millville. This is a 30 ounce container. We used to use these as drums when I was a kid, the Quaker oats container. My mom would let us have it either. We would use it as a drum and then put a cut a little slot here and use it as a little piggy bank. Yeah, they were awesome. These are great because you can eat them just as they are, or they're really great for stretching recipes. I've done that myself. Um, I, I add it to meatloaf so you can really stretch it and get more out of it that way. Um, you can add it to casseroles, soups. I mean, you can actually do a lot with oatmeal. And there are tons of oatmeal recipes out there. Of course, you can make oatmeal cookies. You can make those no-bake lunchbox cookies with these oats. Um, lots of things that you can do. And these are hearty 100% whole grain oats in here. These are steel cut and good for a lot of things. Let's see. I also grabbed some cereal. I hope this doesn't make this video kid friendly. I have to make sure not to show a box of cereal in the thumbnail. Yeah. So these are, now all of these cereals I believe are from Millville up here. You can see that they have the name in this section up here. Now these are bran flakes. These are whole grain wheat and bran flakes in the cereal. Also heart healthy, just like the steel cut oats. This is a, an 18 ounce box of bran flakes. It's a really good way to get your fiber for the day. Um, most people don't get enough fiber. This could be a quick way to, did, to get it. And so you could add things like you could cut up some strawberries and put them in there or bananas. Um, you could sprinkle a little sugar on there to make them taste a little better. They are a little bland, honestly, but there are even recipes for bran flakes. You can make muffins with bran flakes. You can add them to uh, different types of breads that you make. Um, these are actually pretty versatile. On the back, they even give you two recipes. We have cranberry banana cereal muffins and bran flake french toast. I've never heard of that. You can make french toast with these. I guess it's going to be like a coating for the bread or something. Yeah, you use brioche bread for that. That's interesting. I've never heard of anybody using these for french toast. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so it has whole grain wheat and bran and you can eat them like they are or use them in a recipe. I also grabbed some Raisin Bran. This is also from Millville. This is a toasted whole grain cereal, uh, whole grain wheat and wheat bran cereal with raisins, and it is bursting with raisins. Now you may be able to notice, you may be able to see in the little nooks and crannies of these raisins is a little bit of sugar to make them just a little sweeter. That's, what, that's why they look kind of light colored in the little crevices there. Yeah, that's, there's just a smidgen of sugar in there. Not a lot, just a little. Um, and this is also heart healthy. It's the little red heart on the front of the box there. Um, no artificial flavors or high fructose corn syrup. No certified synthetic colors or synthetic preservatives. So that's, that's awesome. And I grabbed a box of Millville Crispy Oats. This is a sweetened crispy oat cereal made with real honey, and it is also heart healthy. This is like Honey Nut uh, Cheerios. This is a 12.25 ounce box of Crispy Oats Honey Nut flavor. They also have no artificial flavors or high fructose corn syrup, and no synth uh, certified synthetic colors for Crispy Oats Honey Nut flavor. And finally, the last thing I have to show you today we have Crunchy Granola Raisin Bran. This is also bursting with raisins. The difference with this one though, first of all, 
you're going to have little clusters of granola in your cereal. So it's not just bran flakes, you also have granola clusters. Also, I do not believe these raisins have that little tiny coating of sugar. I think it's just plain raisins. So if you're worried about added sugar, this might be a little bit better, although the granola clusters may have some, some sugar in there. These are delicious crisp flakes and crunchy granola clusters with juicy raisins. They do look good. They look really good. It is also heart healthy, just like the other ones, the other cereals. This is an 18.2 ounce box of crunchy granola raisin bran from Millville. I love the color, the, 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 the gradation, the, the color here, the way it goes from this pretty blue and it fades into this violet down here. It's like the evening sky in the winter time, you know, when the sky just looks cold and it has all those shades of blue and violet. It looks cold, but it's just beautiful. I think the sunsets in the winter time are so pretty, especially around here. They're they're beautiful. And the sky during the day is is so clear and blue. It's just gorgeous. I love it. This cereal has no artificial flavors or high fructose corn syrup. And it has no certified synthetic colors or synthetic preservatives. So this would be a nice, this would be a really good breakfast. It'd be a really quick thing you could eat. Or you could put some in a little container and take it with you for a snack to keep you from getting hungry during the day. Or a little thing that you could eat a little bit of before you go to bed if you're kind of hungry. Um, you could eat this any time of day. It would be great. So that is everything I had to show you today. Um, I'm really looking forward to taking all this into the food drive. I'm going to need to find some something to put it all in so I can take it all. That's, I'm going to have to make several trips to get it all in there. But um, yeah, I look forward to doing that and giving <laughs> seeing my son's face Christmas morning when he <laughs> opens that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, when we wrap presents, you'll see that again because we'll be wrapping that. So. I'll let him have a lot of fun trying to guess what that is under the tree. <laughs> That's going to be hilarious. But thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it, and I will see you again really soon.